The four main shafts found in the gearbox. When diving into the mechanics of a gearbox, it's essential to understand the four main shafts that allow it to function smoothly. These components play vital roles in transferring power and ensuring the vehicle operates efficiently. 1. Input Shaft The input shaft is responsible for transmitting power from the engine into the gearbox. It connects directly to the engine's flywheel, and through the clutch assembly, it receives the rotational force that sets everything into motion. Without the input shaft, the gears within the box would have no power to distribute. 2. Counter shaft or lay shaft. Next up is the counter shaft, sometimes referred to as the lay shaft. This shaft runs parallel to the input shaft and is integral in transferring the torque from the input shaft to the gears connected to the output shaft. The counter shaft hosts multiple gears that mesh with the input shaft gears, redistributing the power flow through the system. 3. Main shaft or output shaft. The main shaft, also known as the output shaft, is the endpoint where processed power exits the gearbox to move the vehicle. This shaft connects to the drive shaft or differential, eventually turning the wheels. The output shaft's gears vary depending on the gear ratio selected via the gear lever, allowing different speeds and torque levels to be applied to suit driving conditions. 4. Reverse shaft. The reverse shaft is the component that enables the vehicle to move backward. This shaft often involves an idler gear that reverses the rotation direction of the output shaft. This process allows a simple and efficient method for switching between forward and reverse movement without additional complications within the gearbox. Understanding these four main shafts, input, counter, main, and reverse, gives you a clearer picture of how power flows through a gearbox and ultimately powers a vehicle. Whether you're a gearhead or just curious, it's fascinating stuff.